takes us to a CrossFit gym near Kalkana that's glad to see old and new faces alike forging a new workout routine. Shannon McKay missed these workouts and the community at CrossFit Fox Valley when the businesses and others like it were shut down for the pandemic. A year later, he's back at it along with a growing community of members. It means that other people are going to find the same joy that we do in, in CrossFit, but it also means that, you know, this business is going to continue thriving. Coach Leah Tim sees many of those new faces in the foundational sessions she teaches. A lot of times sitting at home, we can get very sedentary and a lot of people, um, just, just the depression starts to set in. So I love that they are willing and wanting to make that change better for themselves. So I'm not surprised to see the uptick at all. 2020 was a difficult year for clubs and gyms. The International Health, Racket, and Sports Club Association says about 17% of gyms and clubs closed in the United States. Nationally, the industry landscape is uneven in terms of bounce back, with gym and club visits still lagging 30% or more from early 2020. Even though like there is probably an uptick um, Q1 this year relative to Q4 of last year, it's still not on par pre with pre-pandemic numbers. Brandon Barker, owner of CrossFit Fox Valley, consolidated his operation to one location through the pandemic, closing the gym in Little Shoe. But with the support of an existing community and new members, he's bullish on what the future holds. Within the last two months, um, it's right back. It's getting back to where we were. So we're pretty close a year later. Um, I'm confident come the end of this summer, we'll be better than where we were a year ago. For McKay, that future includes a CrossFit community to which he is tightly tied. You know, we're incredibly inclusive, looking for people of all, you know, all lifestyles from all, you know, all over the place. Any, anybody's welcome here. For at least this gym, a rough 2020 is forging a stronger 2021. In Harrison, Nathan Phelps, Spectrum News.